even blending. That's what we're working on. Last time we did the incremental steps. Today we're going to blend them together as smoothly as possible. I'm going to start off with my middle tone so I don't have to mix it. So when we're doing this technique, you want to work um, with your paint while it's obviously still wet. That sounded like a stupid thing to say. But I'm not going to like spend all my time working, um, getting my mediums across the whole thing. I'm working with this while my paintbrush is wet with paint and I'm taking some of my lighter color and I'm going to mix it together literally on the paper so that it blends in together smoothly. And I also have to take a lot of paint off of my brush as I go back and forth so that I can blend those two colors together directly onto the paper and it will create a more even, smooth, subtle shift in tones. I'm using the yellow brush, the Filbert. That's a good question. The Filbert has a nice rounded edge, so it's able to get good details and everything. So I'm mixing this together. Hey, you want to do a shout out for my YouTube video I'm making right now? They say hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Marshall. All right, so I'm mixing these colors together. Now, I do have the liquid perfection, but if you work quick enough with your colors and you're able to get this um, blended while it's wet, you don't really need that. Also, instead of adding water, you would add in this flow aid. If you realize that your paint has gotten dry, you need to use flow aid. So you can come up here and we'll just put a little drip drop, drop top. Yeah, we can do that. Probably, yeah. All right, so I'm rocking my brush back and forth in order to create a really nice rounded um, sphere. I'm washing my brush off, not really by using water or anything, but I'm just wiping it off on my paint palette or direct, directly onto a paper towel. And now I'm going to start to go along on the other edge. So my highlight is on one side on my left side and I'm going to make it get darker towards the right hand side being careful around my edges yeah cool it's really really big so I get to uh, that's awesome get to model it now. that I'm excited to see how that turns out Oh, I miss you too. What class are you supposed to be in? Uh, credit recovery. Oh, go recover those credits. Have fun. Not even important credits. Um, all credits are important, man. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in there. <laughs> they, I mean, like they're important to graduate. Like they might not be important to you, but I see what you're saying. So I am drying using a dry brush technique. So my brush, I am squeezing. Check this out, y'all. Thank you for looking up. I'm just squeezing my paper towel around my brush and since this paint is still drying on here, it's not too wet, I am able to blend the paint together very gently as it is drying and I'm getting rid of all my strokes. You don't see the strokes anymore. This is how we create smooth blending. So I'm just creating a dry brush technique where I'm wiping the brush all the way across my sphere and I'm going at a curved angle. And now I don't see any of my strokes, they go away. Another thing you could use is that flow aid, but the flow aid will thin out your paint over time. You are calling him the wrong name. Maybe she knows that she's just being mean. I'm going to add an extra special thing. I'm adding a little sliver of a highlight to the bottom to give a bounce shadow. A bounce shadow is something that you'll notice in photography. When you take a picture of an object sitting on a table, goodbye, you're going to see a highlight appear. And that's from the light and the atmosphere bouncing onto the table. Okay, so I'm just really trying to make this fade really smooth and subtle. So I'm mixing up some more pink on my brush. While it's wet, I'm doing the dry brush technique where I'm scraping off that extra goopy paint. And since I just added some more pink, 
I'm blending in that white together so I don't see any of my strokes. And it should start to look, oh my God, have you guys looked at this? I'm sorry, I'm impressed with me. Thank you, I needed that actually. Thank you. No, I gotta do background to everything, babes. And your shadows are blending into your spheres. No, they're supposed to look at how the co there's contrast between my dark blue and my little my light blue. Um. Oh well, one of them looks very similar. The bottom by your thumb, like there that it's blending in at least from here. Oh. Oh well, I'm just telling you how to make it look prettier than what that paper did. Cause I'm picky. That. So I'm almost done with my sphere. I'm gonna add a little bit more shadow to this because this pink isn't really dark enough to create that last level of depth and value. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of ultramarine to my pink to make like a red violet, which fun fact is my favorite color besides rainbow. Like if I have to pick a color, it'd be red violet. Anybody else in here love purple the most? Okay, I got some purple friends, yes. So now I can see that my ultramarine is starting to create a shadow. Have we, when you guys paint, do you notice that the paint gets lifted and picked up when you use your brush? That's because it's still really wet and sticky. Sometimes you have to wait just a little bit more for it to dry. Do you see that little white highlight in there? Everybody check it, this is gonna happen to you. There's that little white area. That's when I lift up my brush and I stroke it, I accidentally removed the paint with the hairs on my brush. So I need to go back over and smooth it. Sometimes that's just because my paint is too wet and I need to wait for it to dry a little bit because right now it's literally just removing and pulling paint because I have too much paint on here. Also, this is paper and not canvas, so it's going to work a little bit differently. And some of these paints are thicker than the other paint so my blue paint is a little bit thicker than this red paint because of the way it's made it's just not mixing together as well but i'm not going to give up i'm going to try it again but we're really trying to get rid of those streaks So you don't want your brush to be too sticky wet because it will remove your paint on accident. I don't think this looks as good as it did a second ago when I added my shadow. Yeah. Yes. But also see how I carried up that shadow to the side that will help make it more rounded. So I'm even carrying up that shadow a little bit more, but it's not really a shadow. It's just like my pure color. As it dries, that paint's going to lay a little bit flatter. Speaking of laying your paint flat, especially when you're doing acrylic, if it is not laying flat, it's not going to dry flat. It's going to dry with that crease in it. So you have to go over it a few times. I could keep fudging with this literally all day long because I enjoy it. But at some point, I need to move on and show you the next step, don't I? Yeah, thank you. Because <laughs> I can get super obsessed, and I know some of you in here right now do the same exact thing, where we overwork something and then we never move on. Raise your hand if I just called you out. Okay, yeah. That's okay. Some people are like that. I am a little bit like that, too. The reason why I got over that is because I have, you know, a hundred kids to take care of. So I'm not as uptight about that. I like let it go. Like that song from Frozen. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to make my shadow. So I have to make my ellipse and my ellipse comes below 
that circle on the outside and I'm leaving a little tiny highlight, that bounce highlight still to make it look like it's touching the table. Hi. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's actually, there's, grab that paper oh. towel roll. There should be one at your table, but it looks like yours is missing. Lisa, do you paint every day? I do paint every day. I didn't paint yesterday. I went to bed at 5 p.m. Because <laughs> I hurt my neck, so I was like not feeling the best. I was just tired, and I'm so glad I slept. Do you paint every day, Paige? <laughs> Good job. I don't always paint for fun every day. I do homework paint, like for school, and sometimes this counts for me. But I wish I did more fun painting for me. Like I just came home and just like scribble painted or something just to like get something done. So the difference between my picture, <laughs> my picture and then this person's picture that I was using to copy to show you is their shadow wraps around the ball. It's not supposed to wrap around the ball. I don't know what they were thinking. It spreads out. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I have to rotate mine just to get it on there a little bit better and get closer to my area. Those Cheetos are sustaining me, Araya. I was feeling really bad a minute ago, like low blood sugar. Now I feel better. Mm -hmm. With Cheetos. What was? Where'd you get pasta salad from? <gasps> oh my God, that sounds very good. Okay, okay, that sounds great. Who had a really terrible lunch? Who had the school lunch today? Was it good? Oh, okay. You have a sandwich still? Oh, no. All right, I'm going to make my background. Once that dries a little bit, I'm going to go over that because that looks bad. Do what? Oh, what? Your sphere? Is it good? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm making a neutral color for the background, so I'm going to mix up this purple and pink with some of the okra to cancel it out. Yeah, you got to do a background. I'm not. I am for real. I'm doing a background right now. Not everybody works as fast as like a professional. You kidding? <laughs> I didn't realize I worked too fast. Make sure you have a nice clean edge. Paige has a good music selection. Making it get lighter as I go up towards the top. Okay. So with my walls that I'm making in the background, they're going from a light to dark as well. We got to get some Adele playing in here, don't we, Paige? Okay, when I'm done with this sphere, we'll listen to Adele. Should we do our shout out for Kenny now? Hi, Hi, Kenny. Hi Kenny. Hey, Kenny. There we go. Saw you in your gym class yesterday. Killing it. Killing it in gym class. Mario Kart started, loved it. Mario Kart. His favorite game, he told me. Oh, Mario Kart's a good game. Mm -hmm. Except, uh, who, who's the best character in Mario Kart? Oh, okay. Yeah. 
You can see how that paint is starting to pull. That's really annoying. Koopa Troopa. I like using Donkey Kong because I think he's a goof. He's so goofy. He is. He's goofy. So I'm making neutral tones. That means they're kind of gray, muted colors that I used from my original. So I just added some of that okra to my purple. It's not drying? Because did you put the flow weight on it? Mm. The thinner it is, the quicker it will dry, as you know. But also, like, some of it just isn't drying very well because it's humid out right now because it's raining. Yeah, but the inside is also, temperature is controlled by the outside. Like, it's an old building, so it's going to be humid in here. I know. Like this morning, it was super cold. It was like 50 some degrees, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then I got in here and I started sweating. I'm using a pointed round brush to get these really nice corners. I could not get these corners with the Filbert rounded brush. And I use my round brush, the pointed one. Callie and Araya, I just wanted to let you know for your safety reasons, I can hear your conversations. Okay. I just didn't want it to be, you know. Okay. I just wanted to let you know. Because I feel like everybody should have the right to know that they're being recorded, right? And you maybe you forgot. I did forget. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course. I will. Okay, thank you. If I can't, if we can, then we'll if we can, mute it. I'll just mute it and then do a voiceover if I need to. Also, pretty sure the only person going to watch this is Kenny. Okay, but like, still, still. I know. Welcome back for the people who just walked in. I am spending way too much time on this shadow right now. Hyper fixating on it because I didn't think it was like an ellipse enough, like rounded enough at that bottom. At the edge because my brush is funky right here. It's like poking out funny. Making me mad. I need my, best, my special fancy brushes made out of ferret hair. Yeah, it's called a sable. Look up what a sable is. That's what they make fancy, expensive paintbrushes out of, and it's the best. I feel like you're being sheltered. I am. They're also very adorable. They don't kill them. They just, like, collect their hair out of a nest and stuff. Can we see it? Yeah, Google it. Look at it. I mean, I would stop everything I'm doing right now, but, like, I have to hurry because acrylic paint dries fast, so. You find it, Evelyn? Aren't they cute? I mean, they're just well, no, look up the, the ferret, Sable paintbrush. I mean, not Sable paintbrush. Look up Sable the animal. You said that the paintbrushes look cute. See, I'm like, she's not having the right enough reaction for a cute little ferret. You're like... So their hair is so soft to paint with, okay? A lot of the really cool sables like live in like Russia or yeah, Ukraine. You one, and then your own I don't think I have the patience to own a rodent. Do you? No. We've had Why don't you Google what the price is, Pagey Poo? Cool. They, they really are. I'll bring mine in and you can touch it, but you can't paint with it. Like. No, I have 10. Oh my God. Look, look up the prices. Yeah, go for it. Are they cheaper on Amazon? No. 
You gotta make sure they're real. I use Master Touch. Uh, that's one of my brands. You see how expensive they are? All right, I'm swirling my last color together. Oh, I Hobby Lobby. Oh, Hobby Lobby. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> $29? For one brush. Wow. $29? For one brush. Yes. I got a pack of 10 for like $5. Yeah, but that stuff's synthetic. It doesn't hold as much moisture. Oh. So you know how you guys have to go back and forth and reload your brush? When you use watercolor, that happens a lot more. That you have to reload it and stuff, and that's what I use a lot. So that's why I use sable brushes for watercolor, because then I don't have to, it holds all that paint in for me. I'm going to buy one. They feel so good. You just, like, go to Hobby Lobby and touch them anyway, you know, or United Art and Education, because they have uh, fancy ones there. Actually, I don't even think I would trust bringing them into school because I'm super nice, right? And I would totally let someone try it and use it, and then I would just be mad at you if you ruined it. Like, I, it's, yeah, like when you share your new Christmas present with your cousin and then they drop it, you're like, well, cool, I hate you. <laughs> just kidding, Kaylin, love you. <laughs> That's my cousin. <laughs> Thank you, I needed a little boost. Thank you. Is yours looking good? Oh, it's looking amazing. Good. I blend it and I got confused. Oh, no. Like, was it just not shifting nicely? I don't know. I think I just, I think it's so many colors. Oh. So once you have your background, it really does make it look more three-dimensional. So don't give up on that. I heard you say you just gave up. Do you guys hear that buzzing? I know my YouTubers can't, but that drives me crazy. How many times have you heard me complain about that? A lot? No? Have I not complained about that yet in here? No. Trying to keep it together. But when I'm alone in here and that buzzing starts to happen, I sometimes leave. Really? Listen. Isn't that awful? Yeah. It drives me nuts. It's out of tune, you know? Oh my god, I hate it so much. Someone's like, it's the lights. I'm like, no, it's not. It still happens when the lights are off. Don't tell me I'm crazy. No, I think it's like the generator in the 